Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. Welcome to a special interview, COVID-19 update with Health Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, Janet Meemark. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Meemark. Thanks so much for having me, Rick. So what's going on in Douglas County as far as the numbers are concerned? So right now in Douglas County, we have um, 1,890 cases, and um, unfortunately, we have 44 deaths th at this time. Um, this continues to be a pretty high uh, increase and um, a high transmission rate um, it's being categorized as right now. Dr. Meemark, I've heard that hospitals around the metro Atlanta area are at capacity. Yeah. Is this the case? What about Wellstar Douglas? So um, of the metro hospitals, all of our metro hospitals for our districts, um, district for Cobb and Douglas County, are very, very busy right now. And so Douglas ex is experiencing some very high emergency room visits, as well as um, high utilization of their um, general medicine floors and their intensive care um, beds. So there aren't that many beds available at this time. They're not all COVID patients, but the hospital is very, very busy, and there's not a lot of beds available. How is testing going at Douglas County Public Health Center? Testing's going pretty well. So we've had over 5,000 tests at um, Douglas and um, and continue to have a demand. I know there's been a wait for tests. And so we, um, we have signed with a new partner and should be starting very, very soon in the next two or three days with uh, some pop-up sites. And so um, we hope to have one um, static site uh, in, in kind of bordering South Cobb, North Doug Douglas, so we can try to get both counties. And then we'll have one that will move around and do testing. So please um, keep up with our website and stay tuned and we'll make sure we'll let you know when a new site pops up so people can sign up and get tested. Awesome, awesome. Last time we talked, you mentioned the potential for outreach testing around Cobb and Douglas counties. What can you tell me about this? So we've done some um, different things. So we have several partners that are helping and we're really excited. So, you know, Wellstar um, has been helping us with their uh, congregational nurses to go out to different churches and religious organizations to do testing. And we have our Metro Ambulance people that also have been doing outreach events. So we have different pockets of, um, of need in both counties that, you know, our, our static location is not enough for people. And so they can go out and do these things. And as we look at our information, when we see there's a great need in an area, then we um, will send out our new mobile units that will go out and do testing as well. So we hope to increase our testing capacity by three to 6,000 tests a week. So we're very excited about that. Wow. Mm -hmm. I read in your recent COVID-19 newsletter that the CDC has issued some new regulations regarding individuals discontinuing isolation. Can you give me more details on this, please? Yeah, so thanks for asking this. So we had talked about this test-based strategy versus the time or symptom-based strategy. And so remember I had told you the test-based strategy is not the best one to go for. Well, the CDC has kind of drop that from the main recommendations. So that's good news because you remember we had said to get two negative tests, sometimes your test can be positive for over six weeks. And so that really, and that didn't mean you were necessarily infectious. So that part has been um, kind of changed to a different category. And now if um, basically, if you have symptom, symptoms of COVID, if um, after 10 days that since your symptoms started, and then you have a resolution of your fever for at least 24 hours, hours, not using any medications, um, you should be able to come off your isolation. Now, there are some cases and everybody will kind of know somebody like this who's really sick for a very long time, right? So you can be sick up to, you know, 20 days or more. And so if you were that person that's kind of hacking coughing and you can't stop coughing, you, you probably don't want to be back at work when you can't control your cough, right? So maybe letting that settle down so you have control, um, that would be a good idea. Idea. Now, the test-based strategy is not gone completely. Um, the test-based stra strategy can be used if you have a severe um, immunocompromised um, immune system, uh, but you need to work with your doctors on that to be able to know when is the best time to use the test-based strategy. And they're recommending an infectious disease doctor or an um, infection control person. But otherwise, we should use the other guidelines. 
Um, one of the other things that's recommended is that um, if you previously had a positive COVID test, don't retest within three months. And so if your symptoms go away, if you get something else that, you know, seems like a cold or something within three months and it resolves pretty quickly, you, you should be okay. Now, if everything goes away and then you get really sick again and it seems just like COVID, you should, you know, and your doctor says, okay, that's not the regular stuff, then you can talk with your doctor about doing another test. But it's not recommended in general to get one within three months of each other. So speaking of the weekly COVID-19 newsletter, yeah. how can people sign up for it? Well, you can go to our website and then sign up right there. And then um, I think we have a little newsletter section and we would love to have people sign up. And we send every week, send the latest um, news. And I do a little blurb on there, too, to update you on the status of the county as well. Uh, yes, and I do see and follow that. Sure. Dr. Meemark, is there anything else you would like to tell the residents of Douglas County at this time? Yeah. So, you know, right now we've talked about that um, uh, because we've reopened society and, and our economy, we have a very high transmission rate right now. And um, Douglas County's um, rate of transmission is actually a little bit higher than Cobb County's. So the population is smaller, but when you look at the rate, it's a little higher. And so this is, I mean, it's kind of part of when you reopen, right? But we can't let it keep going like that. And so I know, you know, everybody knows the things that we should do. So we got to we got to keep away from the big crowds and stay away from each other greater than six feet. So if you can stay greater than six feet and less than 15 minutes away from somebody, if you get called as a contact, um, you're not going to be a contact because you're not going to be in that um, that infectious zone. OK, so trying to stay out of that wash your hands and my favorite thing to do is you got to wear your mask everybody's got to wear your mask and so and that's what's going to help and um, and we'll get control of this if we can we can all do that dr me mark i can't thank you enough i appreciate you taking the time i know your schedule is busy and your life is hectic at this time but again thank you so much for joining us for this weekly dc tv 23 covid 19 update thank you again Thank you, Rick. You guys stay safe.